Okay, everybody, welcome to this episode of Impact of Sanity Outdoors. This is just going to be a little short clip that we had of a really awesome experience in Wyoming. Last week, we were hunting uh, antelope with our bows. We were alongside a pond when we had an experience with a weasel. I've hunted all my life, and I think I've maybe seen two weasels in the wild. This guy was, it was just such a rare experience. He did not have any fear of us, and literally, you'll see, walks up within inches of my legs, passes by Steve and I, and goes over to a dead rabbit that's by the rest of the guys. So, let us know what you think about the clip. We're gonna try and put a bunch of this, this type of experiences on. It's just something that's really cool. Um, we think that you guys will all like it a lot, especially everybody that, that really likes the outdoors um, and the animals that, that we deal with and that we see not so often. So really cool. Let us know what you think and enjoy what you're about to see. So as you've seen, th this weasel just walked literally inches from me. It was pretty cool. Steve was able to catch it. Now you're going to see as he goes past me, he's going to go right to the other guys. And it's amazing what happens. He has no fear of us at all. The rabbit uh, we're, we're assuming that the badger or something else had killed this rabbit you can see he is gonna work his little butt off trying to pull this rabbit up and you're gonna see the the rocks right there just around the back side of that rock he's got his uh, his den and that's where he is uh, trying to get this rabbit uh, to this den uh, to in order to eat it so just watch how he works it's amazing this thing is three times the size of him and he actually gets the job done So this is a perfect spot. You can actually see the size difference. Um, and this weasel is tiny compared to this rabbit. I, I mean, literally, I believe it's it's gotta be three times the size, but he, it's like he's trying to figure out a good way to maneuver uh, the rabbit around and actually pull him. And as you're gonna see, he, he figures it out and it is truly amazing.
But as you can see, he finally figured out it's a lot easier for him to push the rabbit than to pull it. So he actually bit on around the neck and started pushing it towards the hole. And as you can see, it didn't take him long to get it to the edge of his den. Once he pulled it around where all you could see was a rabbit's tail, he gave it one or two good pulls and it was partially in the den. Uh, and that was the last time we would see him. We hunted the water hole for three more days for antelope and never saw this weasel again. So it was a once in a lifetime experience. It's something I'll never forget. And we just wanted to share it with you. We hope you enjoyed this little uh, short uh, episode of this weasel. And let us know what you think. Let us know if you want to see more of this stuff and we'll continue to post it.